We think the biggest barrier to entry to uh, ride sharing is capital. The biggest uh, barrier to adoption of electric vehicles is physical infrastructure. The biggest uh, barrier or gating factor of adoption of autonomous is morality. You can't model morality. As uh, these vehicles start executing more and more miles in all sorts of different situations, not just sunny days and nice clear nights in Arizona, those situations that uh, Phil LeBeau is referring to are going to keep compiling and accidents will happen and lives, just law large numbers, will be lost. So you can't model the stuff and we think investors who are very enamored by the, the autonomous you know, ecosystem and it, it can move trillions of dollars in value over a long period of time, need to understand it's a, even beyond the technology, it's the legal, moral, ethical issues that you can't model that will that are real and will slow this down. We think if if we're at one percent AV penetration by by uh, of miles traveled by 2030, that's a very large number. One of the big questions, Adam, that's come up from critics just in the past 24 hours is whether this technology is far enough along, especially given the fact that there is this major race to get these self-driving cars on the road as quickly as possible. Is it? Uh, probably not. And if you, you can engage with the folks in the public and private community as well, and we do that, when we talk to the folks that are really at the bleeding edge of the applied AI in this big ecosystem, they use language like, this might be the hardest thing humanity's ever done, ever, including harder than putting a man on the moon and bringing him safely back to Earth. Um, uncharted territory of putting AI and life and death experiences on public roads. And the, the X factor here is, um, when, you're, when you put an astronaut in a shuttle or a, an, an orbital module, they sign up for that stuff. If you're working on the Manhattan Project in the 1930s or 40s, you sign up for that. You, you have to test autonomous vehicles on public roads with real cyclists, real pedestrians, innocent people that didn't sign up for this stuff. And that's where we're in uncharted legal territory, and it's a factor that needs to be considered by investors. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.